Hi, welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this episode, we are going to learn about HTTP Cache Manager in JMeter. Before we dive into JMeter, let us see a quick demo in your favorite browser. In this case, I am going with Firefox to see what is the difference between whenever you request for a resource or uh, visit a website and you just navigate to and fro so that you can see the uh, differences between the cached resource and the uh, the fresh resource from the server. Just uh, open any of your browser and uh, launch the dev tools and go to uh, any website. In this case, I'm going with uh, demo.perftractor.xyz, which is my uh, sample application and uh, go to uh, network tab and here you can see some of the uh, calls uh, has been uh, indicated as cached. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hold my uh, shift key and I'm going to hit uh, refresh so that it will uh, request a fresh uh, resource. So now you don't see the cached uh, tag anymore in my in the network uh, uh, tracing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on say uh, mice and trackballs here. So whenever you navigate, you can see uh, it is fetching the cached resource. Basically the resources, uh, the JavaScript or CSS, it's been uh, stored locally in your browser. And then uh, instead of getting it from the server, it is uh, taking it from your local uh, resource. So basically the get calls, usually uh, it will be cached and post calls, uh, it will not be cached. But uh, these behavior can be changed or modified based on the cache uh, headers or HTTP headers. So right now if I go to uh, click on uh, uh, back button, so again you can see uh, it is taking from the cache. But this resource, the main uh, example, uh, sorry, main uh, domain, it is not uh, coming from the cache, it is coming from the server. So if you go to the uh, header uh, tags, right, so there are uh, multiple tags which influence the caching behavior. Uh, one is the frequently is uh, the cache control and the E tag and if none modified. So these are uh, the commonly used tags which will uh, change the behavior. For example, the expires, uh, lost modified and E tag. So these are the uh, commonly used uh, header information which will influence the caching behavior. So HTTP uh, header information you can learn in Wikipedia and also similarly if you go to uh, Mozilla website uh, you can learn more about the uh, caching header information. So I can put those links in the uh, description you can check it out. Uh, as you know JMeter is not a browser. It is uh, trying to emulate like a browser but it is not actually uh, simulate a browser behavior. But you can control the uh, caching aspect uh, in JMeter using the cache uh, manager. Okay, now let us see how to leverage the cache manager in JMeter so that you can identify the differences between the uh, caching enabled and caching turned off in your response time. Let us add a quick uh, thread group here and inside the thread group I am going to add a sampler HTTP request and also I am going to uh, add a cache manager for my HTTP request under the config element HTTP cache manager. And in the uh, HTTP request, I am going to enter the server name as demo.perftractor.xyz and the protocol is HTTPS. And in the advanced tab, I am going to retrieve all the embedded resources. And also I am going to add a listener uh, view results tree and I am going to add another listener uh, summary report. So now let us disable the cache manager for this run and let us execute the uh, thread group uh, say for example uh, 10 uh, loops. So now I am going to hit run. And in the summary report you can see the average response time in milliseconds. And let us go back to view results tree and here you can see it is fetching the resources. For all the uh, iteration it is fetching the resources uh, based on the uh, server behavior. 
so it is fetching around 29 uh, resources for this request and let us uh, toggle off these uh, tree and if you go to summary report you can see the average response time is 1.5 seconds so now i am going to uh, duplicate this i'm going to disable the summary report and i'm going to turn on the caching uh, manager so now what will happen is it will uh, cache the request so the maximum number of elements you can cache by default is 5000 and if you are going to uh, use more than this you can customize but make sure you are changing the heap memory of uh, jmeter and this cache manager has a uh, configuration where you can uh, clear the cache for each iteration or you can use the thread group configuration to control the cache clearing or you can uh, check this uh, cache control uh, header when processing the get requests so now uh, let us uh, go with the default behavior of the cache manager now uh, let us uh, execute this so now what will happen is you can see the differences in the response time so now the average response time is dropped down to 426 milliseconds from 1.5 seconds because jmeter is leveraging the caching resources instead of fetching it from the server so now if you go to your view results tree and see the last 10 requests you don't see the requests anymore only for the first requests you can see the uh, resources like uh, js or png file but for the subsequent request it is not fetching the uh, request from the server so it is leveraging the caching so that instead of fetching it from the server it is making use of the local caching mechanism that is why the average response time has dropped from 1.5 seconds to 400 milliseconds so uh, this will also uh, leverage the uh, response uh, code as well so sometimes if you have enabled the caching the response code might have uh, 304 uh, 200 something like that so you have to make sure you are making use of the assertion for the response code so if you are using the cache manager you have to make sure the assertion has been set right or not so mainly uh, the uh, caching uh, tags right so that will uh, leveraged by the uh, mainly the two tags one is the uh, caching uh, con cache control and e tag so based on the uh, information for example this e tag and cache control expires so these or the tracks leverages the caching behavior so this information you can learn it from the mozilla website uh, so what i'm trying to say is from the jmeter perspective if you turned on the cache uh, you will get uh, one response time if you disable the cache you will get a uh, different response time so make sure you are uh, making use of the caching manager and the configuration set right so that you can you are testing your application in uh, right strategy so that's it guys from my side. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, feel free to go to my uh, next lecture. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.